everyone, it's me Emily and I'm here with a Walt Disney World haul for you guys today. I'm sure it was much anticipated because I just went to Disney World. I went from August 30th until September 7th and today is currently September 8th so I w came back home yesterday. I'm seeing Fall Out Boy today at Wrigley Field so that's why I'm kind of all done up a little bit more than usual. <laughs> I'm all set to go, so I had a couple spare minutes, so I figured I will do my haul. I did get a lot of stuff. I know I say this every time. This is probably like my third haul, I think, but, no, my fourth haul. This is my fourth haul, but I know I say every single time I get a lot of stuff, and I am not joking when I say I got a lot of stuff this time. So, we're just gonna get started. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I'll maybe do like pins or something first, I don't know. I really went heavy on the pins this trip. I also went heavy on the bags. You will see why. <laughs> I saved up a lot of money for this trip, as you know, or if you don't know, I have two jobs now. I have a full-time job. I'm a marketing assistant, and then I also, and then I also work at a Disney store. So I do get like the Disney cast member benefits with the merchandise. Also, I have not had any time off like at all. I've worked weekends because I had work at the Disney store and I've had literally no time at all off. So this trip was kind of like a vacation. Finally, a time off work since like April when I finally like, I probably have like one day off a month. So like one full day off a month, not doing anything. So being able to take a week off was heavenly, especially to Disney World, it was heavenly. So working all that time though, I do, I made a lot of money. So I set up a lot of money. I set it all aside for this trip because I wanted to really treat myself because I finally had a day off to myself. So we're just gonna get started with the video. Let's roll. All right, so. This was a last minute. I had to get these. I get these at every trip because I'm obsessed with it. And I got five whole bags of the Mickey Mouse licorice. And I am obsessed with this stuff. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's Mickey Mouse shaped. I don't know. But this stuff is so good. I highly recommend it. I got five bags because I love this stuff. I am obsessed with this stuff. So I got a lot of weird questions when I was checking out with these. And the lady was like, oh, we're using snack credits. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just buying these. I'm obsessed with these. I don't know what it is, but these are like my favorite Disney snack to bring home. So there's that. I believe I just grabbed all the pins that I bought. I don't know 100%, I might have forgotten some, but I believe I have them all with me. So the first set of pins that I have are a mystery pack. These were a Not So Scary exclusive. They are, if it wants to like look at this, if you can see it even, I don't know. But it is a Not So Scary, like the little villains Halloween pack, and it has all these villains on the back if you could see them. Um, I really, really wanted the Hitchhiking Ghost, and I also really, really wanted Oogie Boogie up here. So I definitely wanted to get these. They were $20 each, and you can only get them at a not-so-scary Halloween party. They were actually pretty big pins, too. I was kind of surprised with that. So the first ones that I got were... I don't know if these were exactly in the same pack or not, but the first two, I got two packs, were... Hades and Captain Hook, so I got those. And then the second pack had Dr. Facilier and Oogie Boogie. And I was so, so excited to get them. They are so cute. And Oogie Boogie is one of my favorite villains. Oogie Boogie, Bowler Hat Guy, and also Maleficent, but Dragon Maleficent because I'm a nerd and I love dragons. So I had to get them because I just, I love mystery pin packs. I love to, I hate to love them because they take up all my money, but I had to get those just to try them out and also because they're not so scary pins and so I love not so scary. Um, I got two packs of the Kingdom of Cute ones. If you remember last time, I had such a whole fiasco trying to get the Gargoyle and the Dull Whip. Well, I kept getting Dull Whips. I could not get the Gargoyle for the life of me. I ended up getting the whole pack on accident, like the whole set completely, but these guys I just wanted to get because there was none that I was like, oh my god, I need it, but but I really liked all of them. So I really wanted, if I had to pick, I really liked the Electrical Parade one, the Pirate, and the Tiki Bird. So with the Kingdom of Cute ones, I got the Yeti from Expedition Everest. This one is the Matterhorn Yeti though. The Expedition Everest one doesn't look that cute. 
and the Matterhorn one looks white like that. Then I also got the Pirate Skull and Crossbows like that. I was really excited about that one because this is the one of the ones that I actually wanted really bad. And then I also got one of the America Sings Little Eagles. I remember, like, I don't remember seeing that show, but I've recently heard a lot about it because I've been watching a lot of those, like, Yesterworld and, like, TPM vid videos where they talk about the America Sings show. And then I got the Tiki Room one, and I was so excited. I was actually really happy, too, because I purchased one pack. I forget where I purchased the first pack, but the second pack I bought was at the Sunset Ranch little pin store at Hollywood Studios, which is one of the places that I used to work at on my CP. So I was very, very excited because I got the Tiki Bird one at that one. So I was very happy to get that. And I think that was all I got for mystery pins. So didn't go too happy with the mystery pins. It was more of the physical, like, individual pins that I went a little crazy with. These pins were at Cast Connections. So these were ones that were cheaper in price. These were not from Mickey's Treasures. These were just from the normal part of Cast Connections where everybody can get into with a cast member. They've changed it since I posted that last video where you have to have a cast member to get into Cast Connections. But for Mickey's Treasures, that's solely cast members. So the normal part of Cast Connections, I got this little Olaf pin from the Olaf's Frozen Adventure little short that played before Coco. He was $5.99 and I just am Olaf trash so I had to get him because I thought he was so cute. And then I also got a bunch of the Shanghai grand opening pins. These were, I think they were 99 cents or something. They were really cheap but I'm not planning on trading these either. I want these for me. So my sister picked them up for me because they didn't have a lot when I was down there. This one is Winnie the Pooh. We have Mickey Mouse. We have Duffy. We have my favorite Tigger, and then we also have Stitch. And Stitch is like, I used to really, really like deeply like focus hard on collecting Stitch pins, but I have not since then because I he's just, I don't know, he's just not my favorite as much anymore. But if I see a Stitch pin, I'll get it because I still have a collection going of him. So... Next we have some Marvel pins that I got. I am Guardians of the Galaxy trash as well. So I have a Rocket pin. Rocket and Groot are my two favorite characters from Guardians of the Galaxy. So I had to get this Rocket one. I forget where I saw him at. I think he might have been at one of the... Oh, he was at the Contemporary, like the Fantasia pin store. So he was there. This Groot one I got because my sister works at Art of Animation. So I got this Groot pin because she... I. I rung out with her like she did the transaction so I'm like I have to buy something because she's working here so I got her or I got myself the group pin so we got these guys and they are BFFs and I love them so much and they're so cute for Haunted Mansion pins there was like that whole new line of Haunted Mansion stuff that got released so I had to get a couple pins from that line this one's not really too Haunted Mansion related but the kind of inspired by Haunted Mansion and it is this Toy Story one that says beware a toy will follow you home and it has Woody and uh, Mr. Potato Head and one of the aliens on there and this one I saw it all over the place and I was like I kind of really like it like I think it's hilarious but I don't don't want to pay for it so I waited until like the, literally the very last second and I got these at the Disney airport which is like the Disney store at the airport from the Haunted Mansion I got these two pins we got the hitchhiking ghost ones that say two thumbs up and then of course the half box ghost that says a ghost will follow you home and Hattie is my favorite ghost on the Haunted Mansion even though he's not at the Disney World attraction but I will see him hopefully we're planning a trip next year for Disneyland and I will see him then because I need to see my boy Hattie he is is my homeboy so I lied when I said that was the last set of mystery packs that I have because I did get one more actually two more sets but when we went to Pandora I my sister is like a big Pandora fan like she loves all the Navi stuff and I kind of like like the Banshee stuff like I really like Banshees for some reason I don't I, like the dragon thing again I don't know but they had mystery sets for Pandora like little like kind of like posters, like vintage, like Pandora looking pins. And there was one that I really, really liked. And so my sister took the other three because I got two packs and I kept this one for myself that says Explore Pandora. This is the one that I wanted too, which I was very happy about. And so it says Explore Pandora and it has some of the mountains on it and some banshees because banshees are pretty cool. And so I got that. And then just kind of random pins that I got throughout my trip was this Not So Scary Halloween Party pin. If it wants to focus on it, I got this Not So Scary one and it has zero on it. So I'm like, heck yeah, I have to buy it. So, and I really had a lot of fun in Not So Scary as well. So I just got this and because I told myself I would not buy any shirts. I did not buy any shirts on this trip except for one that doesn't count. 
But it was not a Disney shirt either. It was a NASA shirt, and it's an inside joke with my friends. So that does not count. But Disney shirts, I did not buy a single one. So what I did was if there was something that I wanted as a shirt, I would just buy it as a pin. So not so scary. I didn't get a shirt, but I got it as a pin. So, and if I wanted a shirt, I can just get it because it'll probably be at Cast Connections later in the year. So I'll just wait for that. Um, this one I saw on my college program. It's C-3PO and R2-D2 as like the skeleton and like a little ghost. It was there in my college program and I was like, I really want it. And I kept seeing it online like two years after and it kept coming back and I'm like, I really want it. And so I saw it there. So I got, I grabbed it as soon as I could because I really, really wanted it. Um, then we have this, I don't know why I bought this. This was another like last day I need this pin. It's everything is satisfactual from Splash Mountain. Don't know why I bought it, but I, I had to have it. Um, we got a Slinky Dog Dash pin. This one, the ride was great. We rode it four times on my trip because we had fast passes. I got last minute fast passes somehow magically, and then we waited sometimes. And we I got this pin because the entire trip we kept quoting Slinky Dog because of the way that he talked on the ride. We thought it was just so funny. We kept going, here we go. And then we kept going, hang on, look at how it does on the ride. And so I just got it just to kind of like remember our inside jokes with Slinky Dog. And then I also got this Jack Skellington pin. And it is, if it wants to focus on him, it's not going to. It's him in front of the castle. And it, the shirts say Walt Disney World, but the pin doesn't. But it's him in front of the castle. And so had to get him because I love Jack Skellington. Other than that. A lot of pins that I traded. You can kind of see them all here. I traded a lot of pins. Um, my favorite ones include a Carnotaurus from Dinosaur because Dinosaur is one of my favorite rides. Um, I've been collecting the Epcot little symbols, so I've been starting that collection. Um, I have a couple Jack ones. This Olaf one I bought at Pin Traders because there was a, like a mystery, like those like little individual like pouches with the single pin. And there was one of Officer Hops and I really wanted it, but I couldn't get it. So I kept getting repeats, which was great. Um, I got a Jack Skellington pin. Um, I have this cool little Donald as a pirate pin. What else did I get? This one I was really proud of. This was a mystery pin and I traded for this one and it says Soren Sky Gliders. This is one of the March Magic pins. So I was like, heck yeah, I'll take that. Um, I got some of the Tower of Terror pins and more of the Epcot symbols. I got this cute little Duffy pin, like this little headband, so cute. Um, I collect the Tsum Tsum pin, so we got Raja, uh, Dumbo. I got this cute little Tigger, the Big Feet plush. I just got a lot of pins like it's it's really bad and so yeah that's the update with the pins I got Darth Vader you know um, Donald I still duck trash I got one of the Carnado Springs construction ones yeah those are all my favorite ones so that's like the pins that's all for pins I, it's, at least I think that's all for pins. I hope I'm not missing any, but that should be all for the pins, hopefully. I did not go too ornament heavy this trip like I have been in the past. I only got two ornaments, and the first one is this little Zero one. It's Zero from Night Before Christmas, and he's sleeping in a little doggy bed. And it does light up too. I just haven't pulled out the pull tab yet, but the whole Zero lights up, and he is so cute. I saw him at the co-op, and I've been seeing him in all the other like Christmas stores. So I had to get him. He is precious and he is so cute. <laughs> and so I had to get him. And then the other ornament that I got is Constance, who is the bride from Haunted Mansion. I have Hattie already. And then I also have the singing busts. I don't have the hitchhiking ghosts yet. I'm going to have to get them eventually. And I, I have to get Madame Leota. I'm not the biggest Madame Leota fan, but I have to get her because my room's Haunted Mansion themed. But I got her and I really like what... I really like what Disney does with their ornaments because it has like the little clip at top here. So you can just unclip it and it doesn't look like an ornament anymore. But yeah, she is super cute and her and Zero were the only two ornaments that I got on my trip. I'm very, very proud of myself. I was there during the first, the second day of Food and Wine and then a the couple days after that we went back and I saw this online and Figment is one of my favorite characters. Figment is on my name tag at the Disney store. Like he's my, he's like my homeboy. Like ever since I was a kid, I loved Figment. So I saw all this Figment stuff that came out, all the things that came out last year and all the things that came out this year, I was not a big fan of because I don't like the cartoony version that they're making him be. 
I just don't think he looks good like that. So it's really nice because I'm not buying a lot of stuff, but it's also not good because I'm not buying a lot of stuff with pigment on it. Like the stuff that they're making is not cute. So if you don't know, if I've said in videos past, I want my future kitchen when I move out of my own house and get my own place. I want to make my kitchen like vintage Epcot, like retro Epcot, like Horizons, Wonders of Life, like vintage Epcot theme, but like with like a focus of figment as well, if that makes sense. So a lot of figment stuff comes out for food and wine that's kitchen themed, which is perfect. So I have the glove from last year's food and wine and I have a couple other little things, but these I had to get because I don't like how figment looks on it, but I needed it because of the lyrics that are on it. And it is the coasters from Food and & Wine, and they have the quotes from the original One Little Spark when figment actually like has his own solo in it. And I had to get these because my figment kitchen. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put them for now, but I had to get them for the future. And I really want the apron too, but I have a feeling that's going to be at Cast Connections later, so I'm going to wait on that. But I had to get this. Like, it's precious. So, I caved. Also going with Figment, I had to get this little magnet. He looks so silly, <laughs> his big head. But for my kitchen, like you're gonna go in my kitchen, right? I don't. I hope so. But his head is huge, and I don't like the cartoony version that he looks like. But I, I just had to get it because it's like a tacky Figment thing, and I'm like a tacky Figment human, so I had to get it. And so we have little Figment here. He's a magnet. I think his head is a magnet. But he came around with me to the parks and it was a lot of fun. Also, I don't mean to interrupt, but we went to Not So Scary for two nights and I did unveil my costume and I went as the Dream Finder, which is with the, the figment. And so I went as Dream Finder the first night and then I also went as Jack Skellington the second night and it was a lot of fun. Um, Dream Finder I had to change out of an hour into the party because it was so hot. So luckily I brought a change of clothes. But it was really fun and I highly recommend Not So Scary to everybody because it's literally the best time of the year. The fireworks is incredible. The parade is incredible. Everything is incredible. So go to Not So Scary if you can. Please, for me, for my sake, go say hi to, to Jack Skellington for me. <laughs> so next we have a couple little things that I got from Cast Connections. I just got this like little Disney College Program alumni sticker because I'm a Disney College Program alumni. Um, I also got this little Chatham Square. It's one of those cast member lanyards. It was like 50 cents and they had a ton of them there. So I got Chatham Square for me. I got Patterson Court for one of my friends that came with Erin. She got one of them. And I stayed at Chatham Square. My two college programs, the entirety of both, I stayed at Chatham. So I had to get that. Um, what else did I get from Cast Connections? everything's falling also from cast connections i did get these little tomorrowland zoom zooms we got goofy who's a rocket ship and we got donald duck who's one of the speedway little race car hosts i don't know but i love my zoom zooms so i had to get them they were a dollar each too i got another thing from cast connections but we're gonna save that for later because that goes with the bags so we'll talk about that later. Also from Property Control, I got something that I don't know why I bought, but I needed it in my life. You can kind of see it right over here. I really want one of those huge banshees that you put on your shoulder, but my friends won't let me buy one. And I know once I get it, I'm going to be like, what do I do with this? So I'm not gonna buy one, even though I really, really want one. So this was at Cast Connections. I don't know what was wrong with it. Besides, it, it didn't make it completely on the way home. You'll see why. But I did get a little banshee on a stick and it flaps its wings. But if you can't tell, its head popped off on the way home. So we're going to have to get some super glue, super glue back on. But I don't know what's wrong with it. Like, everything's fine with him. I don't think he had a tag. That might have been it. But it was like a dollar at Cas Connection. So I'm like, I needed it, right? <laughs> Please verify that I needed this. Like, help me make sure... Remind me that I needed this, please. I worked at Hollywood Studios on my first college pro, my second college program, my second college program. Um, and so I got this Hollywood Studios sweatshirt and it has like all the little icons of Hollywood Studios on it. So I got that and I, got, I think what was wrong with it was not this little tie, but this one was kind of like a little janky and weird. So 
I got this and it's my size. It's perfect. I wore it on the plane ride home. It has a little tower of terror on it. And Hollywood Studios is my third favorite park, but I work there, so I'm like, I had to get it. And it has Fantasmic on it, which is tied with Festival of the Lion King as my favorite show in the parks. So I had to get it because I needed more Studios items too because I don't have too much and I like to represent where I worked, obviously. I believe this is my last and final thing from Cast Connections. And it is one of the Banshee ornaments. Like I said, I'm obsessed with Banshees for some reason. So this was like a dollar. So I got the little Banshee ornament to go with whatever tree I will have. Um, but that is it for Cast Connections. These are now going to be some prints that I got throughout the parks. I think that's all the prints. Oh, here's some more. Um, some prints that I got from the parks. Um, these are from the co-op, I think the Wonderground Gallery. So I got one of the... Well, I got all of the Haunted Mansion gallery portraits. That's not one of them. We'll go back to that as I'm dropping them all. Um, we got <laughs> that one. Why do I only have three? Don't I have four? Okay, well, I guess we got them all but one. Where's Tightrope Girl? I don't know where Tightrope Girl went. Did I even get a Tightrope Girl one? I don't think I got a Tightrope Girl one. So if anybody goes and sees a Tightrope Girl one. Is this it? Did it fall? I got it. It fell. We're good. <laughs> We're good. I got it. So, I, I, yeah, I, I got them all. So, that's going to my room because my room, again, let me hear it. How to manage your themes. And so I also got this, um, this Mickey and Minnie on a doom buggy going through the Haunted Mansion. Super cute. Then I also had to get my boy, Hattie. There he is. He's adorable. And then this, if you saw my vlog from the very first day we arrived last year, no, not last year, in March to Disney, um, I saw this at the co-op, and, and it only came in a big size, so I'm like, I need it, because it's Epcot, and I'm like the biggest Epcot trash ever, so I had to buy it, and I saw it in like a little form, and I'm like, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, so I grabbed that, and it has a dream finder on it, and like three caballeros, and like food rocks, like, if you saw me freak out over my cup from last time, you know how much it's meant to me, so I got that, um, my friend's coming to pick me up for follow-up points, we're gonna go fast now, um, I got the Haunted Mansion ears, and I'll wear those for the rest of the video, we got them, cute, right, I know, um, I don't know why I bought this, but I bought the Tiki Room Marvel comic, so, there's that. It's Budimus. There it is. I don't know why I bought it. My future living room, going along with the kitchen, is going to be Adventureland themed. So, to go with that, um, we also got some Chippendale pretzels. I was going to eat those on the plane, but I never ate them. Um, I got the Dumbo Alex and Ani bracelet for sentimental reasons. Me and my grandpa always used to go on Dumbo every time we went to Disney. So, this was kind of to remember that. Um, eh, uh, time. Um, I got a Shiba Inu cooling towel in Japan because Shiba Inus are the best animals on the entire planet Earth. And I got another one too, but I lost it, but it came in handy because I used that one. I didn't open up this one. There we go. Um, also going with that, we got a Haunted Mansion luggage tag. It has hat boxes on it and it says a ghost will follow you home. Ha la 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 la. Um, I also got, uh, yeah, I also got the cup from the Haunted Mansion. There it is. It's beautiful. I don't need any more cups in my life, but look at this one. It has Hattie on it, and it has bones, and it just has everybody I needed. Um, I got these for some unknown reason. My friend made me buy them. I bought the whole set of the Night Before Christmas pressed pennies, so I got those, and I got them all. I gave Sally to my friend, though, because I hate Sally. And then I also got the pressed penny thing, because figments on it, and I wanted to put them. I dropped one. I want to put them in there. So there is that. Okay, so the last and final thing that I got, um, my bags. So... I wanted this one before I got down there, and so I got the Orange Bird bag. There it is. It's at Cast Connections for one thirteen, and then I got my discount on top of that. So it's an over-the-shoulder little Orange Bird bag. The placement on this one was perfect, so I had to get it. Like, look at little Orange Bird. He is so cute. So I got that. Um, this was released when I was down there, and I treated myself a little hard on this one. <laughs> I got the Haunted Mansion Dooney, and the day after I got it, they all sold out park-wide, so we got that. It's just, it's, it's just a little bag, and it's, it's my baby. It's, it's my baby. And then the last and final thing, um, these were released the day that I got them, this design. And normally I'm not a big fan of this kind of design, but this one had the perfect placement on it, and it, it has it's the heart ear hat ones with all the parks. And this is Haunted Mansion, and Pirates, and Dumbo, and, and Bear Rabbit, and we got the train, and we got the whip, and our, I mean, the, you know what he is, the orange bird. 
and it just hit. Look at the feet. Okay, so yeah, that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you have a great week and a magical day. Hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm sorry that I had to rush at the end, but I have to get ready for Fall Out Boy. I'm seeing Fall Out Boy. Um, I gotta go. So I hope you have a great week and a magical day, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>